Hello everyone, my name is Star. In this video, I share with you how I do my scalp massage. And to do my scalp massage, I like to use pumpkin seed oil and tea tree oil. I take a container and just place a few drops of the pumpkin seed oil. And then I like to put the tea tree oil and I use pumpkin seed oil as my carrier oil because tea tree oil is kind of strong and you want to dilute it you never want to just place tea tree oil directly on your scalp so i mix it up in the bowl and then i'm going to use my fingertips and i'm going to gently place it on my head and i'm going to massage in circular motions now when using circular motions on my head it feels way better then rushing through it so you want to take your time and do circular motions so you can get your blood flowing and just activating your scalp that way when the oil penetrates into your scalp it'll be well activated and it'll be very very beneficial To begin my scalp massage, I like to do kind of all four corners of my head just to get the oil penetrating into the, those areas. And after a while, when you keep rubbing, I normally rub it for about 30 seconds or so and you'll feel your head starting to heat up and then that means it's working. Tea tree oil has many natural properties like antibacterial, antiseptic, antiviral, and anti-infection that help with different problems of the hair. Tea tree oil also helps unblock the hair follicles to help boost the immune system to be able to fight against infections such as dandruff, dry, itchy scalp, and hair loss, and it also moisturizes your hair. And I think the cool thing about tea tree oil is like the natural oils that our hair gives off by itself, it helps control the oil. So it's the oil that helps control the amount of oil. It's kind of like difficult to explain but if that makes sense it's kind of like you use the oil to help control oil and it's it's so weird to me because that's what I kind of use for my face as well like with my skincare and oily skin when I get to the front of my hair I like to massage that area slowly because it's a very delicate area and if you tie your hair back in a bun or a ponytail or you always parting your hair you can get a receding hairline or your hair can start falling out so it's always good to use some oil in the front of your edges and just moisturize that really well when you do your massages now I'm just going to be parting my hair down the middle and I'm going to comb through each side and use the remainder of the oil to just comb my ends and I'm going to kind of part it randomly making sure that each part of my hair is coated and especially my ends because our ends is the ones that we kind of want to retain but if they fall off they fall off your hair is going to grow anyway so don't get all upset if your hair is shredding just try to take your time and just moisturize it as much as possible. Pumpkin seed oil is a thick, rich oil that contains fatty acids and antioxidants that allow the oil to help maintain normal cell structure and retain moisture. It also contains zinc and vitamin E, and zinc is known for treating flaking of the scalp, so it's kind of like any irritation or any itchiness or dry patches you may have on your head. It lifts up the scalp flakes and kind of like open up your hair follicles as well and it gives in all the nutrients that your hair needs and then your hair may be able to stimulate growth. After I comb through my hair I just twist it up around itself into a little bun because to me when you wrap your hair around itself that's the best way to retain the moisture and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and I sat with this on my hair for about an hour or so and I just want to let you guys know that I did do this on dirty hair because it works best for me and you don't really want to apply tons of oil to your hair after you shampoo it because that will be a waste of product and a waste of time so if you guys want to try this out just go ahead and give it a shot you won't know if it's going to work for you unless you try it and this is not something that's going to work overnight you have to do it consistently i like to do it about every two weeks or so and just kind of like jot down how i'm seeing my results and 
So guys, this is the ending of this video and I really like how my results come out each time. My hair does not feel weighed down and it has just the amount of shine that it needs. And it's flowy and it can last me about two weeks, a little bit more. And I normally like to stretch my washing sets because nobody got time to be washing their hair every week. So if you're interested in seeing more hair videos, just go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And have a blessed day. See you later.